today we made some cells that you can eat. We made an animal cell and a plant cell. First for our animal cell, we have a drawing of an animal cell that shows all the organelles. So for our food animal cell, we used a pizza. The large round cheese represents the nucleus, which is important for controlling everything about the cell. It has the DNA. And the little orange carrot is the nucleolus. These little hand pieces represent the mitochondria, which is important for making energy for the cell. The little sausage pieces over here represent the Golgi body, which processes and packages proteins. And then over here, we used onions for the ER, which stands for endoplasmic reticulum. And there's two parts of the ER. There's the rough ER and the smooth ER. The rough ER has ribosomes, so we use little black olive pieces to be ribosomes. And the smooth ER does not have ribosomes. And the function of the ER is to transport materials around the cell. So next we have our plant cell. We also made a drawing. And what we used here was lime jello to, for the cytoplasm. And we made a um, peach to be the nucleus and then a little strawberry for the nucleolus. We used spaghetti for the ER. We used raisins for the ribosomes. We used green grapes for the chloroplast. And the chloroplast absorb light energy um, from the sun that's used for photosynthesis. So it converts the energy into sugars that can be used by the cell. And then we have these banana pieces, which represent the Golgi body. And we have the oranges for the mitochondria. And then this large piece of mango here is the vacuole, which is in plant cells, and it's used to store food and water.